Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Norris. This channel is about product reviews, luxury items, travel, and also DIY videos. If any of those things interest you, be sure to subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that way you'll know every time I post a new video. Now let's go ahead and get started today. Today we're going to be doing a box opening, and or back opening I guess. I am looking for a new pair of sandals and if you already have seen the title you know what we're box opening for. So I went to Saks Fifth Avenue. I have been looking for these shoes or the slide version of these shoes but after thinking a little bit more about it I think a sandal with a strap is a little bit more usable for me. Then the slides and then I do remember trying on the slides before I want to say like months ago just for fun and it just didn't feel the most comfortable something about the fabric overlapping kind of pinches my skin a little bit when I was trying it on in the store and then on top of that this time they just didn't have the color that I wanted so I decided to go with the sandal version without further ado let's get started and open this up so I purchased it from Saks Fifth Avenue and everything is right in here the gentleman that helped me was super super friendly and um was really really quick and easy as far as like getting the items looking up sizes and everything so if you do see this video thank you thank you uh here is the box for the shoes so you can see it is a chloe box very very pretty um just like a plain white box you have the detailing for the shoe on the side so i did get it in a size 36 the style of this is going to be the woody pama micro cream lux is the color and uh, it is a flat sandal let's take a look at what the shoe looks like so it does come with a dust bag and I did try these on so whatever marking you see on the shoe honestly was all me so <laughs> might be my fault. It does come with two separate dust bags so one for each shoe. I do tend to kind of stick them into one dust bag though so it's kind of just something I do but I do like getting two separate dust bags. And here is the shoes. Da, 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 da. Here is my new sandals. And again, I tried it on in the store, so I think there's like quite a bit of like little dog hair and stuff because my service dog was with me and she was walking around with me. So there are a bit of hair sticking everywhere because this dog haunts me with hair. Golden Retriever, honestly, best thing I tell myself, it's not it's not dog hair it's not dog hair it's just golden glitters it's not a big deal and that is what I tell myself all the time but here is the beautiful shoes so it has a strapping going over the top the lettering is not painted on there it looks like it's like a over layer of some sort that's put on top of it so it's not a paint but it is very nice and clean. The middle of this is actually like a completely different texture from the side. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the middle is like more smooth than the side of it. And then for the straps itself, it's a leather strap. It's a pretty thick leather strap. For the shape of it, the top is more of like a boxy shape and then same thing with the bottom, a little bit more boxy of a shape. For the underside of it, just so you guys know, like I said, I was walking around in the store with it for a hot minute just to make sure I was able to wear these. Um, it does have a bit of dirt on the bottom, but you do have the Chloe label in the middle and it does have a little bit of a arch and a little bit of a tiny heel. Um, I like shoes that have just a slight bit of heel at least. So that way it's not like 100% flat. I think it just helps it just a little bit to be a little bit more comfortable. But beautiful shoe overall. I will say that if you're looking to purchase a shoe, the sizing is a little bit weird because I tried on a size 7 in a different store just to see how it looks on my feet. And my feet were literally like right here. And so, you know, like... 
if I wasn't looking at it, I would say it kind of fits if I didn't look at the number. But my toes were like pretty much like here. So I, I think like the design of the shoe, the front just has so much space. Maybe it's designed for somebody with like really long toes, one, or maybe it's designed to have the space in the front. But regardless, I was thinking that I was going to need a size 35 because for Givenchy's, I need a size 35. And so I thought maybe I should try the 35. But honestly, after I tried the 36, I don't think I could fit the 35 because for these ones, my feet are literally right at the edge. So anything smaller, it's going to go over the edge and then that's just going to look weird and uncomfortable. So these actually fit me perfectly fine. But as you can see where my little like toe print ends, it does still give you like this much space in the front. I am okay with that. I still like the look of the shoes even with that. So keep that in mind if you like these shoes, unless you have like super, super long toes, um, it's gonna have that look. Now let me try these on for you guys so you can see them um, from afar. So here is what these shoes look like. I'm sorry guys, I don't have my toenails done yet. I like to wait until I literally am like about to leave for vacation to do my toes so that way they're nice and fresh uh, just because I tend to kind of like bang them up wherever I go and I just kind of like kick rocks <laughs> so um, I always kind of mess them up so I try to like prolong them by doing them right before my vacation but you can see that my toes do sit pretty um, far back from the actual shoe uh, so that is something to kind of keep in mind, but you do get that like really pretty shape because of that. The back of it, you can see that my feet are like literally right at the edge. Like any further, it's going to go really over the shoe. So any smaller, I wouldn't be able to wear it. Uh, I do think the seven was way too big. So I think the size is the right size for me. I do really like the overall design of the shoe. I think it's really pretty. And I think it's going to be very wearable for a long period of time because right now the trend is the big logo. However, I don't think the big logo trend is going to really be here to stay for too long. And when it does go out of style, I don't think having the giant logos everywhere is going to be as popular where I think this one it has just one logo. I think it's a little bit more classic. It's also more functional because it does have them. Um, tied to your feet so you don't have to worry about them falling off. Something I want to mention about the straps, the way that I have them set up right now, I can actually slip my feet out really easily. Um, so they do hold onto my ankle, so I can't slip it out without my hands. But if I use my hands, I can actually just pop the... So with my hands, I can actually just pop the strap down, then I can slide out of the shoe. So you can see it's pretty easy to put on. It's one of those sandals that you don't have to have a headache to put on and off. This is a really random thing to kind of talk about, but it is a real honest opinion here. Um, I hate strapping and unstrapping shoes. So being able to just kind of slide them both off real quick is a pretty big must for me. All right, so that is the end of today's video for the quick bag slash box opening for the Chloe sandals. I'm really happy with them, very excited to wear them. I'm gonna try to wear them today to kind of like loosen up those leather straps a little bit more. And I'll be doing a full review of these shoes after my trip and maybe a little bit after that. I have to see how often I wear these. If I wear these a lot during the trip, then I'll be able to kind of give you guys a more thorough review of these shoes. If not, I'll wear these a little bit more before I do a review for you guys. But aside from that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Aside from that, be sure to follow my social media. My Instagram is right here. That is the handle. I will be posting a lot of pictures with these shoes for the upcoming trip to Greece. So keep an eye out on that and I will see you guys next time. Bye!